HR did a full investigation into it. They told me that I had done nothing wrong that required any kind of discipline. Then six months later, they actually gave me a contract extension and a raise. And they actually elevated Maria in that mm -hmm. same period as well. So I thought we had put things behind us. And unfortunately, I think there were still some people who had bad feelings and they held on to this tape for a year, just kept it in their pocket. And then when there was a point they wanted some leverage with their own situations, they fed it to the press. Mm. I will say now what I said then, which is I feel very sorry that any of this touched Maria Taylor mm. because she's a fellow woman in this business. It wasn't her fault what was going on. I wasn't talking about her actions. I was talking about someone else. And to even bring her into it, um, that was a mistake on my part. And if I caused her to be upset in any way, that stinks. I don't want to be that person. Imagine yourself working somewhere 25 years for a job, and they want to use you as a scapegoat to fix something that they've been up for years. It don't work like that. And that's not fair to nobody or no race. And that's how I took it. You know what I mean? And and that and it just wasn't right. And that's why I, I didn't mind um, jumping out there and standing up for you because I love you and I, and I know you. And like we, we said earlier, we wouldn't be here without you, but people just got to put themselves in, in, in somebody else's shoes sometimes before you just jump out there and judge and just all right, and make it racial. You know what I'm saying? If I would be, I would be upset the same goddamn way if I've been working my life for a job for 20 years, and just because you've been, you've been messing something up your whole last 20 years, you want to use my situation to make it look better and make me take a step back on the job that I've been working for. It don't work like that, and that wasn't fair. So I understood it, and that's why I stood up for you. Well, and it was especially too in, in a time where there was so much racial tension. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we knew what was in the air at the time, so mm -hmm. that's why I kind of felt like. And that's what media, I mean, I, I had to learn the hard way on the Ime Udoka thing. You know, I jumped out there without knowing everything and, and, and tried to be like, hey, this, you know, if this is what I think it is from what everyone else is hearing, this is not all that bad. And then I kind of hear and I'm just like, oh, sh you know what I mean? But it's, it's the media will take stuff and we know we're all a part of the media. The media will take stuff and, and, and take what they need and, and, and run with it. I will say that <clears throat> in the days after all of this sort of became more public, I was really moved by you, by you. Matt, you got on a plane at yeah. five in the morning yeah, man. to come be next to me on television. Yeah, I remember. And you give me chills to think about it. Wasn't we were out in Phoenix, right? Yep. And yeah. with no hesitation. Yeah. I talked to him in Park Devil. <laughs> yeah. Well, because we, I mean, we, we, you know, we know it's it, it's always hard because, you know, obviously this is a crazy business. The the the, the NBA is, is a crazy business, but you really find very few real friends. I'm cool with everybody. But mm -hmm. Real friends is hard to come by. So when I heard it, started hearing, you know, that Rachel's racist and this is, and I was just like, no. And that's why I felt like I had to speak on it. Like I said, you kind of, you know, you definitely helped start Jack and with the jump at the same time. And then as soon as I was ready to come, like you were like a, almost a mother figure from a standpoint, you know, this is your camera. If you need help with this, I'll practice, you know, call me, here's my cell phone. We can do that. I'm just like, oh, shit, because she's giving me the, the kind of the blueprint. So you were mm -hmm. always so welcoming because I felt like you wanted to see us succeed in this exactly. space, which was which was dope, you know, and, and it's a cutthroat business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not all athletes are cut out for this, shit, you know what I mean? So you, <laughs> you know, you kind of let us know early, like, hey, you know, this is where you got to be. And, you know, if you need help, I'm here. So that's why, you know, I really kind of went out there. I'm just like, nah, this is not, she's, I can personally tell you for sure she's not racist. We need more people like Steven Jackson. Being able to separate yourself from someone's characteristics and putting yourself in their shoes, being able to say, this is wrong. It doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. They're not being treated right. And we got to do something about it or we got to say something. ESPN just doesn't get it. When that article came out about the lack of diversity, no one wanted them to just rob people of things they've earned over the years. All they were doing was highlighting the history of ESPN being biased and that they should change that in the future, giving people equal opportunities. But instead, ESPN goes, what's that? You don't like white people? All right, let's get them out of here. Sorry, Rachel, we know we put it in your contract that you were gonna cover the NBA Finals, but you know what, man, this political pressure is just too much. Disney, ESPN, they're all out of touch. They don't know what actual equality is because they just cave to whatever's trending. But I'm glad we have people like Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson who just tell it like it is. Rachel Nichols is not racist. 
She was frustrated because she lost an opportunity that she earned. She had that in writing and she deserved to cover that finals, whether you like it or not. They could have easily turned their back on her after hearing those comments, but instead they listened to her side of the story and made a conclusion for themselves. And that's what I want you guys to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.